Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth and you're watching Trans Family Voices. So this week we are trying to lighten the air a little bit and talk about the great things that have occurred while being in a relationship with a trans identified person. So um, the first thing I'm going to talk about, which I'm probably going to come off as sounding as a hypocrite, is I enjoy um, being able to be more affectionate to Aiden in public. Um, I know in a previous video I said that I enjoy standing out, which that hasn't changed so much, but what I don't enjoy is fearing for my safety. And that's, you know, that occurred quite frequently where we would go someplace and hold hands or he'd put his arm around me and when we were viewed as two lesbians, um, I didn't always feel safe. So I think as he is being viewed as male more and more, the safer we are to do those things. Um, let me think. Another thing. Um, oh, another thing that has been really great is that we have learned to celebrate everything. Um, we celebrate every new little hair that springs up on his body. <laughs> every hair. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, seeing those small things that are happening and knowing that, like, this is a great thing, um, it's added a lot of, it's added a lot of joy to our lives. And not only the physical, but the mental things and the mental changes that have occurred have been really fantastic. Like, his confidence has skyrocketed, and that has been very attractive. <laughs> it's nice to be with somebody that is so sure of themselves, but not cocky. Um, I don't know. It's a really nice thing. Um, goodness, sorry, I live in the ghetto. Uh, <laughs> so, another thing I think has been really great is being able to educate the people around me um, about trans, the trans community has been really nice. Um, I am by no means an expert, nor do I claim to, me, claim to be, um, but being able to shed some light on what a society thinks is, you know, kind of a taboo subject um, has been really good. Um, it's hopefully opened some eyes and changed some opinions, and I'm really proud to be a part of that. Um, goodness, um, I think another thing is, um, I've learned to not judge a book by its cover, and that has been a really fantastic thing, um, I don't know, I don't see people just based on their appearance, I want to get to know them and learn who they are. Um, and that's not something I necessarily did. I Before, I would just kind of shut people down based on what they look like, and that's really, really bad, and I know that. But um, I am way more open-minded now, so that has been really great. Um, oh, and being introduced to the trans community has been super awesome. Um, I have met some of the most courageous people um, that I think I will ever meet. Um, it has been really life-changing, quite honestly. Um, going from being a lesbian that was very much against um, being in a relationship with somebody who was trans to being <laughs> uh, Aiden's biggest supporter <laughs> um, really has been a beautiful thing. Um, and it's it's only happened because of the people that I've gotten to know in the trans community here in St. Louis. So, yeah, these are phenomenal people. And... I don't know. I just wish that everybody would be as open-minded as they were and accepting as they are and have been. So, yeah, those are just a few of the perks, and I can't wait to hear what everybody else has to say this week. So uh, thanks for watching, and below I will put the links to our WordPress page and our Instagram account, um, and I will talk at you next time. Bye.